So what I have here is a bad data format. I hope you can see it. I'm going to give it a few seconds. Now it looks okay. Everything is in columns. Every column has a heading and so on and so forth. But there is a problem. These gaps are the problem. Now remember gaps in column E, the amount column are not the problem. Only in year and month there is a problem because if we sort it, if we convert it to a pivot table, if we filter it, all the gaps will fall in together, which is not correct because some gaps mean Jan, some gaps mean March. So invariably we end up taking this extra work of filling up gaps on our head and waste our precious life. That is called inefficiency. In fact, if you are wasting half an hour, one hour, whatever it takes to fill the gaps, it's you who is helping Excel instead of Excel helping you. And if you understand my concept and if you had attended my session earlier or uh, uh, seen my blog, if you are helping the software, that means your method is inefficient. You must assume that Microsoft must have detected this problem and solved this. Now, this kind of data typically comes from pivot table, typically. Very often we want to do something in a pivot table, but it doesn't allow you to do it. So we feel we should copy paste it as values. And while we are doing that, we know that the pivot table is going to misbehave and it is going to be my extra work to fill in the gap. So this is a pivot table now. Now, before I copy, I never even attempted to think that pivot table will be capable of filling the gaps. So this is how you find it. Assume that there is a solution. Obviously, that solution has to be in a pivot table menu. So this is not an analysis related issue. This is a look and feel issue. So you go to design, eliminate the unwanted buttons like I am not adding subtotals. I am not adding grand totals. Maybe report layout has the issue. Read all the options and then surprisingly you will find this button sitting there for almost five, six years which nobody noticed. But if you do notice it and click on it, it fills the gaps in one click. People spend hours doing this when there is a button which could have done it in seconds. So start exploring and start benefiting from it. That's one kind of bad data.